Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Rhino, Hunter, beer. This beer is actually one of the beers I was looking for this year, so now I'm at five of the 12 beers I was trying to find from the fall releases at the LCBO. This is Steamworks Pumpkin Ale. Uh, Steamworks, the first big bottle of Steamworks I've had. This is the third Steamworks beer I've had now. I've had their Pilsner, uh, I believe their Kolsch or their Saison, and this. Uh, very cool looking bottle. I mean, look at very that pumpkin. Neat. That pumpkin is awesome looking. And the information Ooh. and everything's laid out pretty cool. Yeah, they uh, they do the the old list down the side here. You got your malts, which are pale Munich and caramalt. Uh, caramalt's gonna add some nice little color to it and all that. Hops are Magnum. Uh, and spices and other such things are pumpkin, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. And it's 25 IBU. And 6.8% no, sorry, 6.5% alcohol by volume. How much does this bottle retail? This was a five or six ninety five. Oh, that's not bad at all. So five ninety five or oh, six ninety five. That's, that's nothing for a big bottle like that. Nope, not that's decent. Not a considering thing. half of the price of it, was probably getting it across the country to get here. That's get decent. Hmm, that looks really nice. Looks like a pumpkin beer. Look at that. Matches your scarf. It does match my scarf. Here, let's double check. Does it match my scarf? Yeah, pretty oh. much. You should put that on Rhino and warm him up. <laughs> it's looking pretty cold. <laughs> Dick. That is beautiful. That's a nice orange color. Mmm, it smells like pie. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh, it does. Oh, it does smell like <laughs> pumpkin pie. Oh, my God. But not yeah. like pumpkin pie when you're putting it in your mouth, but like pumpkin pie as it the just filling. starts to cook. It smells like the filling. Like, in the in the house just starts yeah. to... So it's like that first whiff of it that you now, catch. Now, see, the reason I'm so excited mm. is if this actually tastes as good as it smells, I may have to rush to the LCB and buy more of this because my favorite beer for pumpkin is pumpkin which is full on pumpkin pie you get the f filling and everything but it's ten dollars a bottle southern tier oh yeah that's right where this is about half the price if this is just as good i'm on that i'm on it like butter <laughs> i mean you're not you're not getting quite as sweet a scent as you get with pumpkin you're not getting the, it's, the it's not readiness. overpowering yeah you're not but i mean nutmegs there cloves are there Cinnamon's there, all spice. Yeah, cinnamon on the forefront for, with smelling it anyways. It's not like, pow, I'm pumpkin. It's like, oh, hey there, I'm pumpkin. Yeah, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Happy Devil's Night. Mm. Mm, that's really good. Okay. It's not Pumpkin from Southern Tier. It's not Warlock from Southern Tier. It's not Greater Pumpkin from Elysian. It's not, uh... Howl at the Moon from Elysian. It's not. It's not a Saint Ambrose pumpkin or pissed off Pete's pumpkin porter. But I'd say this is my next favorite thing out of all those. It's mellow. It's yeah. mellow but nice. It is. It right is quite the, a lot like pumpkin there? pie. And it's, it's all the filling. You get everything. You're not, but getting, it you're just not getting. You're not getting the breading. You're not getting the the crust. You're getting the filling, full-on filling. You're actually you know tasting pumpkin. It's not sweet. Yeah. So some people like oversweeten pie, or like they would oversweeten the beer to make it taste like that oversweetened pie. This is just really mellow and not. Yeah, but you're actually tasting the pumpkin, sweet. which you don't get on a lot of pumpkin mm -hmm. beers. A lot of pumpkin beers, it just adds to that velvety, smooth, heavier mouthfeel that you're getting. But this one, you're actually tasting that pumpkin. You're yeah. tasting the pumpkin, you're tasting the cinnamon, you're tasting ginger, yeah. nutmeg, it's all there. It's not overcloved either, and that's the one thing I hate yeah, with pumpkin beers. That's the thing beers. I like about this, like what you're saying, it's not too overpowering. The mouth feels good, smooth, it's really drinkable. This is like a Halloween session beer, I think. Like I could drink two or three of these. <laughs> well, for five bucks a bottle, it's not bad at all. Well, six or seven, five ninety five or six ninety five. dollars I don't remember the exact. Cool label, nice beer. This one and the other pumpkin I pulled out for us. One of them was five ninety five. One was six ninety five. Very cool. Um, about a ten on this. I think I'm gonna pick up a couple of those too. I think I'm gonna give this a eight five. I really enjoy it. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna give it an eight eight. 
I like it. I totally buy this guy. I'm gonna buy yeah. this again as, fine, as soon as I find out the information from when you Christy. Where you got when that. Christy gets paid tomorrow, I'm buying more. Is that here? LCBO here. Yeah, the Ferry Street. Oh, Ferry. Okay. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. That's delicious. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, YouTube. guys. Steamworks pumpkin. Thanks, Steamworks. Happy Bye. Halloween.